Hey photographers, welcome back to Aftershoot Academy. Today, we're diving into one of my absolute favorite new features in Aftershoot, Extreme Cull. If you've ever come back from a shoot with hundreds or thousands of images, you know how overwhelming it can be to sift through them all. And that's where Extreme Cull comes in. It helps you drastically reduce the number of photos you need to sort through, saving you tons of time. Now, normally Aftershoot gives you a choice between few, standard, or more selections. But sometimes that's still too many shots to deal with, and that's where Extreme Cull saves the day. It'll narrow down your selection to just 10 or 20% of the total images. The coolest part, it's not a static percentage. It's dynamic, meaning the AI adapts based on what's in your shoot. Let's say you've shot a ton of portraits or group photos. Extreme Cull is smart enough to choose the sharpest, most flattering ones, cutting down similar images and giving you only the best. If your shoot has a lot of people in it, you'll notice Extreme Cull returning a smaller percentage because it's designed to help you avoid unnecessary duplicates. On the other hand, if your shoot doesn't have many human shots, the AI will switch gears. It'll prioritize any human shots it can find and then move on to other types of photos. So how do you use Extreme Cull? Let's walk through how to use Extreme Cull step by step. It's quick, easy, and totally worth it. Step one, drag the slider to Extreme Cull. Before culling begins, you'll notice there's now an extra setting on your culling slider called Extreme Cull. Go ahead and drag the slider all the way over to Extreme. This tells Aftershoot that you want the most aggressive culling, which means fewer images, but all top quality picks. Step two, start the culling process. Once you've set the slider to Extreme, hit the Start Culling button and let Aftershoot do its magic. The AI will begin processing your images based on this setting, and it'll take into account things like sharpness, focus, facial expressions, and variety. Step three, review your culled results. After the process finishes, you'll have a much smaller batch of images, typically between 10 and 20% of your total shoot. These are your very best shots, picked from duplicates and near identical frames. You can still review the selected images and also check out the Maybe folder, which contains shots that are good but might need a closer look before making a final decision. Step four, finalize or fine tune. If you're happy with the selections, you can go ahead and export them. If not, you can dive into the Maybe folder and fine tune your picks from there, making sure every image you keep is the best representation of your shoe. And that's how you use Extreme Cull. With just a few simple steps, you can dramatically reduce the number of images you have to sort through while keeping the very best. Whether you're shooting weddings, portraits, or landscapes, Extreme Cull adapts to your shoot and gives you the most efficient workflow possible. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy shooting.